Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. Today is April Tuesday, April 16th, if you're watching live. And if you're watching later, you can you can sort of fast forward through some of the little talk. It takes a little bit of time for people to find us. I'm going to check my iPad and see if I'm transmitting in the right place. Okay, there it goes. And let's see what's here. Okay, good. That's always nice. If I can find find the right spot. Oh, I see someone. I don't know. Thank you for the thumbs up and the hearts. And oh, good morning, Levon. Nice to see you today. Um, we always appreciate any thumbs up, hearts, comments. If you're, uh, you can subscribe to my email list. If you're on YouTube later, you can uh, ring the bell and you'll be subscribed. Good morning, Stacy from Florida, Carolyn from Georgia. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that, Stacy. That's always very nice of you. I appreciate that a lot. And um, I have some fun projects for you today. It is a... Uh, I had to adjust my blinds here. My I here in Montana I have gigantic windows and we have a lot of sunshine. And so I had to adjust the blinds so it's not wasn't too bright. I don't have that problem in Florida there. It's rather dark. Uh, I have small windows. Today we're going to be working out of the mini catalog. We're going to be working out of the annual catalog. These are both, re both of these catalogs are retiring. Good morning, Jeannie, good to see you today. And then we're going to be using some brand new papers from this beautiful new catalog. How many of you have seen this? How many of you have received the catalog in the mail if you're not a demonstrator? If you're a demonstrator, you received one. If you're a customer of mine, I've sent I've sent those out. If you're not, and you would like to be have a catalog and don't have any other demonstrators, please let me know. Send me a message, and I will send you a catalog in the next several days. Okay, so we have um, I have several projects for you today. It's all the same design. It's a fun fold, very simple fun fold but um, three different stamp sets, one that's going to be online, an online exclusive. So let's see once, let's turn. Um, so again, I'll just reintroduce myself. I'm Corinne Braxton from Bozeman, Montana. So yes, and um, this morning we got news that our dear teammate, good friend, uh, Nancy Lund has passed away during the night. She had cancer and she's fought very hard for two years. We will miss her dearly and prayers go out to her family and her young adult children. So yes, really very, very sad news. Uh, she's been fighting, gone through many rounds of chemo. Anyway, um, don't know any other arrangements and we, we probably won't know that for another day or two, but I will keep people informed. Okay, we have, um, this week I have a cookies, cards and coffee this Thursday. It's an in-person. And then next week I have a uh, ice cream swirl class. That's in person. Or you can you can take it as a kit to go. So it's part of my birthday series. And uh, anyway, it's a really fun class. Really enjoyed it. I'll show you the cards when I turn the camera down. Okay, and here we go. Uh, good morning, Munch. Good to see you this morning. Yes. Um, Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn the camera down. So close your eyes for a second while I get this adjusted. Those are those are three of the five projects that we're going to be doing in my ice cream swirl class next week. This one is a fun fold, a faux um, step card. And this one is just a regular top folding. This one is another, just a beautiful fun set with gorgeous paper. So it's part of the um, up in the air paper is the is that that part of it. So let me see what's okay. That looks pretty decent. We've got some some of these to cover up the lights. Let me just 
there we go. This is the host code. If you are ordering from me, I always appreciate it. And if you use the host code, that's even better. And I and right now, all of my anyone who orders fifty dollars or more, up to, up to one hundred and fifty, will receive a full kit, a full class kit from this past winter. Oh, good, Susan. I'm glad you found it. Good to see you this morning. Okay, here we go. We're going to start with the we're going to start with a card from the ice cream swirl, and I'll show you the bits and pieces. This is um, ice cream swirl. I don't know what happened to my dies. I must have them over by my die cutting machine. This is the card that we're making, and the ice cream swirl stamps are in the mini catalog and they are returning. They're carrying over. They are on, I'm going to tell you what page they're on. I've got it marked here in the mini catalog. This is the paper we're going to be using. And then the, uh, it's on page 33. It's called Lighter Than Hot Air. No, it's called Lighter Than Air is the DSP. And the ice cream bundle is $53. And it's really a, a good one for sure. Some of you might have that ice cream sundae one from a year ago. That one's retiring. That's a good one too. That could be a nice companion to this one, I think. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and we're going to make this little card. It's just a single fold. I mean, it's a single base, but it has a little card in like this. Very fun. We're going to do this with all of our cards today. So this is the first one. And I will tell you the pieces. So we're gonna start with a thick four and a quarter by five and a half. That's a, you can get four cards out of a sheet. And then I have a piece of designer paper that is six by six. Actually, it was like this. I already cut this one. I, I, don't, I should have waited to show you. Anyway, I cut off a two inch strip, just like that. And that is going to go here on the side. And then this four by six, I'm just gonna fold it in half like this. I think that this time we're gonna do just the opposite. We're gonna, we're gonna do the opposite design, okay? So it's designer paper, you don't even need, it's so thin, I mean, it's not real thin, but it's, you know, it's not like a thick, where you have to do the scoring. So I've got it folded like that and we're going to we're going to put this stripe one on on here. So we're going to put that right there, the 2 inches. And all of my directions will be all of the directions are already typed up and they are under at the end of the video they will be you will be able to see all the directions. They are going to be under what's, you can click on more, and that'll give you the directions. So we're going to, um, let's see if I can get this right. So we're going to put down the, we're going to put down the stripe side. So I'm going to put my adhesive on this. And we're just going to go, oh, we are not even going to measure it. It was, I just cut off two inches. And then we're just going to lay this down. Just going to leave a little bit of a mark, a fourth of an inch right there along the side, like that. And then I'm going to take my scissors, my little snips, and trim that off, like that. And there we have that. And this is our little booklet. It's going to go on like that. We have a piece of lemon lolly. This is three and a fourth. By four and a fourth, it's just going to be a little bit bigger than our folded booklet. So that's going to go on like this. Oh, here's the lighter than air is the name of the DSP. Right there is my little stack. I'm going to put my adhesive on this. I think we're going to be able to finish our little... I think these cards will go together quite quickly. I They're really fun. Um, it's a very simple pattern, but I think it's it's a good one to use. Okay, I'm going to adhere that down. Let's see if I can get this up a little bit for you. And 
just a little mat around there like that. And there we have that. Okay, now we're gonna do some stamping. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna bring in, I have an envelope already done that I've done for this. We're going to use some gems. And uh, I have a little inside white piece. And I have some circles, some stitch circles and some other circles. Let's see ones, what do I have here? I have a whole bag full of goodies. Things are sticking to the envelope. I've got, I'm gonna just dump them out here, see what I have. I have all kinds of ribbons that I pre-tied. I have a yellow ribbon and pink ribbons. This is from that, in our, I think it's in our annual catalog. We have three spools of ribbon. And I don't know what it's called, but I think it's it's in the annual catalog. And you get the yellow, the pink, and the blue. And this is all part of my class, too. So you will get all three spools of ribbon, and you'll get gems and a half package of paper. So it's a really great class. It's a $30 class, $10 extra for shipping. We're going to take our largest circle. This is the largest stitch circle. And we have different, um, I've got this circle. Let's see, what else do I have here? Okay, I think we're going to use that circle then. <coughs> and I'm going to stamp a little, oh, I'm just going to, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put that one down so that I don't have to, there we go, then I won't lose it. And then our inside piece is going to go right on here like that. And that's two and a half by three and a half. Isn't that a pretty, isn't it just beautiful paper? Oh my goodness, just love that. Okay, there we go. And um, there's the card. And I tried stamping some donut. I did a donut. We're going to do donuts. And I stamped this little donut on this balmy blue designer paper, but I didn't really... It doesn't show very well, so I'm not going to use that. I didn't like that very well. Um, let's try. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on, I'm going to stamp one donut on that. So let me get the donut stamp. And we've got a little, um, I'm going to get my little half, this is a half of a piercing. I'm going to just do that. Bring in my, I'm going to try really hard not to drop my papers in the ink this week, like I did last week, but I'm going to use my black memento and oh, I have a balmy blue shirt on. I don't want to get ink on that either. I'm going to just stamp that like that. We only need one of those. And then I'm going to cover up my ink and um, put that over there. And then we're going to do some other donuts. I've already die cut these. And um, we're going to we're going to stamp on a donut and we're going to stamp on a strawberry like that. And I'll do that again. And I'm going to just, I guess it's photopolymer. I can see pretty well. There we go. And that can clean that, get the strawberry out. Ooh, I love that strawberry. There it is. Okay. And we're just gonna try not to get my head under there. There we go. There's our strawberry. Now we can color those, put the ink away. And we're going to color those. And this time we'll Let's see, once we're, we have this one to color, so we think we're going to do, um, I think we're going to do some, where did I put my blends? There we go. I'm going to use pecan pie. We're going to make it a chocolate and uh, a pink donut this time. So, and then we're going to do some lemon lolly, and we're going to do, um, that'll just give us a little bit of, Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that pink and blue, just like that. Just like I did on the other one. We'll make the other one yellow. We'll do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to color this one 
this balmy blue. Isn't this a pretty blue? It's one of our subtles. I had to actually take a piece of paper, cardstock, balmy blue cardstock, down to my closet last night. And uh, because I have so many blue shirts, blue is probably my favorite color. And I have lots of shades and a blue. And they're really, oh my gosh. But I really only had about, I had one short sleeve, balmy blue and one longer, three quarter. And that's what I'm wearing a three quarter. It's not real warm. It's only gonna get up to 55 today, but it was like 20 something this morning. Tomorrow it's supposed to get down to 15. So I am definitely going to have to go um, cut all of my daffodils. I've got a lot of daffodils that are blooming. This, this is pecan pie. I'm gonna use the other end, I think, because it's the other one's a little frayed. And um, so we're going to get some cold weather. And then I get to sort of experience it twice. I'm going on Friday, I am going to Wisconsin to see my mom and the rest of my family there. My mom is 97 and a half, and I haven't seen her for a long time. I've really not been able to travel since my surgery, or I mean, I, without much help. And so let's do some yellow here. It's some lemon lolly. Um, let me see, once here we have a uh, dark, we're gonna use the dark lemon lolly. So I'm going to Wisconsin and then it's going to get cold there. there it's fairly warm there right now, but then um, the cold weather that we're getting here in Montana is going to go to the Midwest. So, um, Sometimes that happens, we, you know, it, it usually travels. And sometimes I get to experience snow twice. This is Poppy Parade, and I'm gonna do this, this uh, strawberry. I really like the Poppy Parade. It's got a nice bright pop to it. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white right there along the edges, uh, right in the middle there. I'm gonna do a little bit of stem work. Looks like I got that down a little bit far, but it's okay. I think I can maybe snip that off a little bit. Bring this down a little bit. There we go. We'll just cut this off a little bit more so we don't have quite so much of this showing, the white showing. So anyway, there, there we go. That should do it. And now I think we have all of our pieces stamped. Let's put that over here and we'll put it together. Uh, we'll just put it together right on our card, I think. So let's do that. We're gonna pop up our, our um, design like with some dimensionals. I'm just gonna grab one from my little dish. It's a little big, I'm gonna give it a little, what, cut it off. And we'll just put it on like that. I love my dimensional sheets. Love to cut them up. Just gonna put it on like this. There we go. And we're gonna take we're gonna take that one. We're gonna take our we did no what I just did the yellow. We did yellow and the strawberry. Okay, there we go. Now let me just get these other pieces, bits and pieces over here so I can I don't get those all mixed up. We're going to pop up our little donuts and our strawberry with some regular dimensionals. So I'm going to just pop those up. So how is the weather where you're living? How's it in Florida and Georgia and Colorado? So I, I'm sorry, I can't always keep up with the comments very well. I know you're chit-chatting among, amongst yourselves, but... Um, it's hard for me to talk and stamp and and look at comments at the same time, but I do always go back at the end or later in the day. Today I have a dentist appointment. They called this morning, they had a cancellation, so I took that and uh, I had to cancel my other appointments. Oops, I put the dimensionals on the white. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, okay, we're gonna put dimensionals right on the colored one. I sometimes will cut these out with two sheets of white paper. And you can do that, you, not if it's intricate, but if it's just not too difficult of a shape, you can, you can certainly do that. I'm gonna tuck that one right under there like that. 
And our card is almost finished. We're going to add one of these gems from, this is called uh, Rainbow Adhesive Back Dots. And I am not sure if these are carrying over or not. Um, I do love them. I hope they are. We're just going to add probably one there. And we can probably add two little yellow ones. You can you could even mix them up. I'm going to put two more yellow. I'm going to put two ye little yellow ones here along the the side like that. And there we have that. Now we need a little bow. We need an inside sentiment. Do you want me to use the pink bow or the yellow bow like that? On the other card, I used the yellow, and um, so it probably be, make more sense to use the pink. So. Um, you tell me, do you want me to use the yellow or the pink bow? Let's see, and then we're going to stamp on the inside and make a wish. Um, and happy birthday. We're going to do this in balmy blue. I just refilled my balmy blue yesterday, so it's pretty juicy. I'm going to, um, get my little piercing mat there. This make a wish is part of our, of the, the swirl, the ice cream swirl set. There we go, that's good. And then we're going to do a small happy birthday. And where did I, where is that one from? Hmm, I don't remember where, where I pulled that from. There we go, just a small happy birthday on there, like that. I'm not positive where I pulled that from, but something that's in our <laughs> catalog. And there we go. Now let's see what you said. Uh, pink, pink, yellow, yellow, pink, yellow, pink. Hmm. I think yellow. I think yellow. I think we're gonna do yellow just because we had. I think we had more yellows. So, okay. I'm gonna get some um, dimensionals. Good morning, Martina, Carla, Janet, Kathy. Joy, good morning, Joy, Susan. Oh, thanks for chiming in, ladies. I appreciate that. I always like it when you help me out with my cards. Let's see, where where are my dimensionals? Oh, let's see what's... These are on the reverse side. I guess I haven't rewound these. So I always like to rewind them. But these I've not. So we're going to get a dimensional, and we're going to put just a, put a little yellow bow down there and there we have it and let's see once now here we have our card all finished with our envelope here's our other card so this one has today we did the stripe with the blue and that one's just the opposite which do you like better do you think i like them both I don't know if I would have a favorite, but I love that balmy. I love that striped paper. I think it's fabulous. So anyway, that is called Ice Cream Swirl. It's in our mini catalog right now. You can still get it. It's still available. I tried to choose stamps today that are that were still available. And the ne and the last one that I do, which will be a sneak peek, but it'll also be a sale. Oh my goodness, the sale is so amazing. You won't believe it. Okay, so that one's done. Let's do our next card. It's going to be, here's the card. We're going to use the Feathered Flights, it's online exclusive, thinking of you. And what we're, we have some brand new paper. This is, a, we're gonna use it on this paper, on today's two cards. So it's called, um, what's it called? Full of Life, it's in our brand new catalog. I only have one pack. It was one of my gifts. When I, I did not attend on stage, but I but I paid for it. And so I did get the gifts and it was in my bag. And we are going to be using this one right here. Okay. So beautiful papers, um, sort of like a geometric and lots of swishes and watercolors. It's really, really very bright and pretty. This is the stamp that we're using. It's called Feathered Flight, and it is a red rubber stamp. Um, this It's $24, it's online, 
and that's the number 162726. And it is a really nice set of stamps now, that will stay around for quite a while. So we're also using the, uh, these are called nested essential dies. We're using the very largest nested essential for this one. Okay, so let's bring in our pieces. Let me find my kit. Where is the kit? There it is. Okay. Alrighty. So what we're going to do, oh, we're not using this one. We're, that's for a different card. We're using this sheet. That's the one we're using today. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. I am going to, I'm going to cut off with, I'm going to take my paper trimmer. I should have done this on the first one. I don't know why I didn't, or I should have started with this one. This one looks like water to me, and I thought, oh, this will be really fun. We have some mallard ducks. We have lots of mallard ducks, in fact, um, on our pond, and we're going to do cut off. I'm going to cut off two inches, and that's all, and then this is four by six. Okay, this paper comes uh, six by six. So this we are going to be folding in half. This is going to go on the outside of our card. We have a card base. We're going to bring in our pieces. Do some... Okay, I've got my envelope of goodies here. Um, okay, so this is the card that I made ahead of time. We're going to try to do just the opposite this time, okay? Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that look like water to you? So we're gonna have gonna have to think about this. So this is my my base, four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, let me just set that right there in case you need to take. Uh, you can take screenshots. You're certainly welcome to do that, or you can. Um, I think we're gonna put it like that. Um, I have all the measurements already typed up and they will, as soon as the video ends and it posts, I will copy and paste those directions right into the video. And then you'll be, you'll have them and you can make the card. I'm gonna leave just a tiny bit of a little white edge right there. You don't have to, you could go to the edge if you want to. I'm just gonna leave about it. Oh, it's maybe an eighth of, whoop, eighth of an inch. There we go, and I'm gonna, Snip that off. There we go. Oh, it's pretty. I like that. And then we're going to take this one, and this is going to be now on the inside. So we're going to fold it in half like this. And we're going to give it a good bone folding because it's light enough to just bone fold like that. So we could do it like that. So we're going to have a piece of this is shaded spruce. It's one of the colors in this pack, four and a quarter by three and a fourth, right there. And this is going to go right there. I'm gonna, let's just add that right away. Okay, there we go. And now we have to decide, do we want it like this? Sort of like that, or we could do the blues. I don't know, hmm. Very pretty, I think, isn't it? I like this. I actually like this better than my original. And then this is going to go on top. So let's, I think what we're gonna do, I think before I glue that on, I think what I'm going to do is set it aside and we're gonna do our sponging and we're gonna do our stamping, okay? So we're gonna do our stamping on the inside, two and a half by three and a half. So don't wanna forget that. And we're gonna do our little sponging. And I'm gonna just bring in a little sheet of, my grid paper, you can certainly sponge right on the glass mat and you can put, but then I would get my hands in it and the papers. So I'm not going to do that, but you certainly could. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of, we're gonna put some balmy blue for the water and for the sky. And where did I put my balmy blue? There we go, my balmy blue. And whenever I do sponging with my brushes, I love these. Just get a little ink on there. And then don't start working on your white spot, your paper. Start off the mat. Get some of that ink and and make loops. <laughs> make little circles onto your, onto your 
label. Do you see how nice that looks? It looks good along the edges and off the paper first and then on. The edges will be darker. I'm gonna leave the middle sort of white. Oop, I have something right there. Don't know what that is. Huh. Let me just try to erase that first. I don't know if that is a... Uh... And I don't think the ducks are going to be covering that up, but I'm gonna erase. This is an ink eraser made by Mono. That's pretty decent, not, not horrible, not bad, but we're gonna ink it up again and you can get those on Amazon. You can get them at an office supply store. They're good for, there we go. That should do it. And isn't that a pretty label? My, uh, my blue is, my balmy blue is very messy for somehow. I think it just got sort of messy during a class once and it's just, I mean, I think it was closed the wrong way. And so now the ink just, oh, it's just a mess always. Every time I open it, it's hard to open too. Okay. Um, okay, there is my balmy blue and we're going to do our stamping with our ducks and thinking of you and everything. Let's get those out. We have, oh my goodness, I cannot tell you. If you, if you follow me on my Facebook page, um, I often will post photos of, of the mallards and I just love watching. We, we all, my husband, the kids, we all love watching these ducks. They're so, they're so cool. And there's so many. We have this pond by our new house and uh, it is quite magnificent. It's much more, so I'm going to just practice doing our stamping on a piece of paper here because, only because this is a distinctive stamp. And I'm going to make sure I, and my ink pads are a little bit dry, so I'm just going to see if that's how that is. That looks good. Okay, those are, those, and you know, mallards are really so cool. Um, they mate for life. And... That's just really sort of neat, I think. They mate for life, and they they just they build a nest, and they take turns with it. I'm going to sort of put my mallards right there in the middle, and in that white space that I sort of left open. We'll just leave it like that. And then on the inside, we're going to do a little bit of, um, let me see what's here. We're going to save that, and then the inside piece is going to be two and a half by three and a half, and we're gonna do some um, some of this. We're gonna do the rocks and the, all of that down here on the bottom, like that. Give it a clean on my little chamois next to me here. And then we're gonna do thinking of you. This is a pretty, and you know, we always need thinking of you stamps, it seems like. Not, you know, you could use it for a sympathy stamp, but you could, it's such a nice thinking of you if you're having, someone's having a hard time. Um, so that was shaded spruce. And there is our, we'll take that away. And let's put our card together. Now we're gonna be able to tell. Now, do we wanna use that green, the shaded spruce on more on the outside like this? Or should we do it like this? What do you think? The blue or the green? I don't know. And then we're going to, let's see what you're telling me. Let's see once. Um, that duck pond stamp is very nice. Yes, it is. I, Cassie says, I'm in love with ducks. Yes. Um, our magnificent pond is an understatement. It's glorious. Yes, it is. Mary Sykes says blue. And Jeannie says, Lutke says green. Janet said, Clark said shaded spruce. Hmm, we got two greens and one blue so far. Let's see what else. Is anyone else? There's the blue. I'm gonna put it, while you're t you're typing in your answer, I'm gonna put a, a gem or two on this. Let's put, let's do that. We're gonna use, these are brand new. This is a sneak peek. These are the in color resin dots. This is Summer Splash, Petunia Pop, Shy Shamrock. Peach Pie and Pretty in Pink. And we're going to use the, I don't know. What did I use on this other one? 
I think I used the. Hmm, I think I used the uh, summer splash. I think I'll use that again. So we're gonna put one up here. So I, are you telling me to use the uh, the, the blue? Someone else. Let's see. We're gonna go back here. We're gonna find that. We're gonna get this all figured out. We're gonna put a couple more down here at the bottom. Isn't this a fun, easy, easy peasy design? Um, whoop, there's something else right there now. Okay, that it, these are going to be available on May 1st. And those of you who are demonstrators, of course, you can pre-order those things now. If you're not a demonstrator and you'd like to be, I'd love to have you join my team. Um, and if on May 1st, when you order, you can uh, blue, 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 blue. We've got lots and blues, lots of blues, 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 shaded spruce. Oh my goodness, ladies, I don't know. I think we're going to do blue. We've got a lot of, get more blues than greens. So, okay, let's see. And I know some of you probably can't always see the comments either. Sometimes they're hidden. Some, I don't know what makes them hidden, but sometimes I have to unhide them when I respond to you. So I think it's part of your settings, whatever you have. Okay, that looks pretty, just the way it is. And look at that inside, isn't this pretty? This card literally went together so fast. After I made the first design of, with the donuts, then I made this one. And then the next one is going to be a uh, retiring stamp set. I sort of bent that up. Okay, let's put a, a big label on here. Let's see, this one looks like it's perfect. My little dish of cut up um, adhesive squares and rectangles, perfect. Just, there we go. So anyway, a couple of years ago, we lived in a different house a little bit more in town in Black Bull on a golf course. And we had these mallard ducks that came every single year and built a nest. And oh my gosh, it was so fun. And I have pictures of when the eggs hatched and the ducklings came out and they literally marched away instantly. They followed their mother and we never saw them again. So I'm hoping some of those, now I know they're probably not the same ducks. They usually go back to the same place, but I'm hoping the ducks that we have in our pond, some of those found their way over here from our old neighborhood before we moved. Here are the cards. This one is the one we did today with the, the almost like the starburst on the outside and there it is on the inside. What do you think? Aren't they pretty? Easy, easy peasy. Very fun cards to make. Okay, that's number two. That was the... The uh, online, you, have to, you won't see this in the catalog. You won't see these in the catalog. You'll only see them. Let me see what's where we have. There we go. I think that's covering up that light. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Anyway, so that's a, a fun set. So don't, whenever you go um, to the, you, you have to be, remember that the catalog is not the only way, place to shop anymore. It's m more and more things are appearing on online exclusives. So you can go to stampingup.com. You can go to my 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 website, corinnescrafts.stampingup.net, and go to shop and what's new, or you can go to online exclusives. You can, Stamping Up has done a great job making ordering very easy. It's almost like Amazon. It's so easy now. You can just put things in your cart and it's neat. So this is the card we're going to do next. We're gonna use this pretty paper and um, we're gonna do just the opposite on this one. And this one's gonna be a sympathy card. This is one of my favorite stamp sets that we've had. We've had it for two years. And we're gonna start, whoop, oh, I tore that <laughs> with my paper clip. We'll just have to use a different one. It's six by six. We're gonna cut off two inches on the left edge. I'm gonna use a different, a brand new sheet. This, ladies, and if there are any gentlemen on here, I don't know. Um, ladies, this stamp set is a bargain. Oh my goodness. I have two sets. But, um, so the stamp set is normally, it's normally a bundle price. I don't know what the bundle price is. The stamp set's normally $26. Right now, it's only $13. It's still available. 
The dies are normally $34 and they're $13.60. So you would not put in the bundle price, you would only put in the individual stamp and die. And so for a total of $26 for both, you would, instead of having 55 or something like that, you save a lot of money. It's a beautiful set. It's one that I will keep. So I'm going to just set that right there in case any of you want to take a screenshot of that. Those are the numbers. I wrote them a little bit bigger. And um, just a great set. Okay. We're going to bring in our paper trimmer. And the first thing we're going to do is um, not on that one. We're not because that one's already torn. So I'm going to take this piece. I thought that looked like water. I'm going to cut it off at two inches. There we go. And that's all we need to do with my paper trimmer. And we're going to fold this one in half like this. It's going to be just the opposite of my other one. Just This is four by six. Four by six. There we are. So we're going to have to make a decision about that side or that side. Hmm. Interesting, huh? And this is going to go on our on our outside this time. So we're going to take our 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 sheet of thick white, our single layer, four and a quarter, and it's by five and a half. So we're just going to put that down. We're going to put this is going to go to right here. And we're going to use just the opposite of what I did before. So I'm going to use the, just like that. And got half, half up in the air. Okay. There we go. And let's see what's here. Then we have a piece of Petunia Pop. This one is three and a quarter by four and a half, four and a quarter, four and a quarter. And that is going to be for our little base like this or like that. I'm not sure what we're gonna use. We're gonna have to make a decision about that. That might be a little tricky again. They're both really pretty, aren't they? Isn't that pretty paper? That one, this one has more green in it. So probably the blue, because I think we're using more blue. Let's just make, I'll just make that decision. I think we will do that. And <clears throat> we'll just pop that onto our petunia because we're using <coughs> uh, Balmy Bloom ink, excuse me. We're using a Balmy Blue ink and petunia pop. These are all colors that are in the paper. That's how I chose them. I just pulled papers from the, it tells us on the back. Okay. There we go. This is going to be for our inside. I like that already, don't you? Okay, and now we're going to put our white, our very largest white on. It's a stitch circle. And... That's going to go on like this. And now we're going to we're going to do some um, we're going to do some uh, sponging right on. Um, this is a deckled circle. This the deckled circle dies are in the online exclusives. Really a great set of dies for sure. Okay, and then we have a little piece of white for the inside for stamping, and we have some pieces that we're going to bring in. I've got some gems that are in our catalog. Let's see once I better dump everything out a little bit here so I can find things. We have some ribbon. I don't want to forget that at the end. We can put that on in the end. We'll put the gems right there. We're going to do a little bit of gold on this too. And we're going to do some, <clears throat> so we're going to do some sponging first and then we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to bring in my uh, grid sheet again. We're going to do some stamping. Um, we're going to do some balmy blue on the bottom or for the sky. And we're going to do some crumb cake for the sand. So we're going to use our little sponge brush again. 
Start off the mat, make little circles, sponge along the edge, little circles. And if you, the darker you want it, add more ink. Again, sponge off. I like the darkness around the edges along the top like that. I think that'll be good. Just plenty of ink, just like that. And let's see, let's get our crumb cake. Crumb cake just looked like, say, we don't have any crumb cake in, the, in this paper, but I just thought it looked good with the sand to, make, to imitate the sand. So I'm going to start off the mat onto our paper. There we go. Just like that. And we're going to leave a little bit of white in the middle there. We'll leave this open because we're going to do our stamping on that. Okay, I'm going to bring in my stamps here. What do we have? Um, <clears throat> I've got, we're going to use our big bird and our seashells. And um, on this one, I think we're going to do a thank you. We can do heartfelt sympathy. We can do thank you. I think we'll do thank you for everything. And I'm going to bring in my clear block, just like that. So we'll do our, okay. these are red rubber. So I'm going to stamp. I'll just, I think you can see better. I've got sort of a mess going on here. Okay, we get, you can see better, I think, when I um, have that little sponge mat there. There is my crumb cake, and it's not real juicy. It's sort of fun, interesting because when I'm in when I'm in Florida, oh my goodness, my, my stamps are very, very moist and very juicy. And here, oh, that looks great, I think. That was good. Um... They are quite dry compared to um, my other things. So, okay. I already have a couple birds cut out. I'm gonna, let's just do, I'll get two up because chances are who knows what's, what'll happen here. Um, some things right there. And we're done with the crumb cake. I'd like, oh, I'm, we're gonna use that on the inside. We're going to put that on the inside also. So let's uh, let's take our our two and a half by three and a half right there, and this is going to go. Where did I put that? Right there. That's going to go along the bottom, just like that. And then we're going to get our balmy blue again, and I'm going to close that up. Close up my brown, and we're gonna do thank you in the balmy blue. I love the, I love this heartfelt sympathy, and I love the thank you. It's just they're beautiful fonts. That's just it's a great set for sure. Okay, now that's done for the inside. So we've got these birds. Well, how am I gonna do that? You know. So um, normally what I do is I I stamp on a piece of white paper, and then I die cut. Um, but I couldn't do that because it's just, it's so awkward having the, uh, cutting machine here on the camera. So what I do, and you've seen me do this before, and I do this with my kids too, and it's a great trick, I think. So, because we don't have our stamparatus anymore, I just line up the beak and the, and the body like that, and I press with my stamp. You can still use your stamparatus, of course, and there is our bird. It's really great, I think. Let's do another one. So I'm going to stamp, stamp it up, ink it up, and then I'm going to place it on there. And there we have it. Perfect. Okay. And that's just a quick and easy way to do that without bringing in the cutting machine. So, and you know, when, you, when you're when you die cutting, you can also, you can cut, you know, I stamp and then um, I stamp and then die cut it. And you can cut, put another clear sheet of white underneath it and that'll, you'll have extras that way. So we're, what, what I'm going to do is going to pop this up with some dimensionals. And let's see one's here. Um, I can't always, oh, let's see. 
Oh, you all are so, you're so funny. So that's a great idea with the bird stamp. Oh, thank you, Peggy. I appreciate that. Good afternoon to you too. Uh, yes, I love this paper. So this is, this is not something we can pre-order. This was a, uh, um, it's not on the pre-order list, but it's in the catalog on May 1st. We're going to be able to order it and I'm going to get more of this for sure. I think that paper is really fun. Um, it was part of Prize Patrol. So it was a prize patrol that I received in my bag of goodies, even though I, I paid, but I did not was not in attendance. One of my sweet friends from Texas picked up my, my kit and shipped it to me. So that was so sweet of her. Okay, there we have that. Now where is the rest of our card? Here it is. And we're gonna pop that up like that. And be good just like that these deckled circles are really nice thank you um would enjoy having that in your die cutting collection i think it'll stay around for quite a while isn't this pretty oh i like this one even better okay and there's and our inside piece is like this thank you for everything and I have a little tiny bird that I had left over from another time. I'm just going to um, put some adhesive on that. Just use it because I have it. And then we're going to put that right there. Thank you for everything. And oh, I think that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Oh, I forgot to add the uh, the little gold things. These are, um, we're going to add some gold shells these are some die cuts that were part of the kit and um just to add a little bling to our card uh let's see if i can lift this up a little bit i meant to sort of lay those in place first but um let's see once we that's not going to work very well I, I really used a lot of dimensionals on this okay i think i've got it now we'll just tuck it like that and we're going to tuck this one's smaller, we can, I can just sort of lift it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some stamping seal to that. Oh. And down like that. There we go. A little touch of blue, of, of gold on there. Um, this is some gold glimmer that, I, I don't know if, I don't know. I can't tell what's retired and what hasn't retired with some of these glimmer papers so um and then these these um embellishments are called adhesive x sparkle and they are carrying over to the next catalog so that's wonderful there are really a lot of things that are carrying over i think um which i which makes me happy we're gonna put a small one Oop. now i have okay there we go we're gonna put that right up here and then we're gonna get two large ones and we're going to put those right along the edge, just like we did on some of the other things. Okay, and we don't have our ribbon on there, but you know what? This ribbon, um, <clears throat> where do I have? it's called um, Petal Pink and White Ribbon, but I don't really think I need it. And it has these two uh, ribbons. This is something that's coming in the new catalog. I'm not going to use it this time. I think I like it without. I think it looks really pretty. And these are the uh, other two. This is the other one I used with the ribbon. They're totally different, aren't they? This stamp set, ladies, is a uh, a real bargain. It also has these shells that open up like these clam shells that you can put pearls in. I think they're really neat. Um, there's just so many fun things you can do with this whole set of dies. I really like it a lot. So, okay, let's see what else we that's it which one of those do you like better do you like the the one we did today or the one i did before i know which one i like better <laughs> thank you very much levon i appreciate that appreciate that a lot my favorite one is this one that we did today i think i like that 
I like the softness of this and the sort of that mosaic on the side. That's my favorite. Oh, I good, Peggy. Alrighty, let's close. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let's close your eyes and um, let's turn the camera back. Here we go. And now you can see my balmy blue shirt. Thank you for the hearts and comments and all that. And, um, oh, Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. So anyway, remember, thumbs up, comments, shop with me if you if, if you don't have a demonstrator. Um, I would love to help you if I can. And if you're on YouTube, please ring the bell and subscribe. If you're on Facebook, you make sure you are have notifications set so you'll get see the comments. And um, oh, hey, Joey, good to see you this morning. Good, nice to have you join us. Um, so, and I, I would ask that you, um, please keep Nancy Lund in your prayers, uh, her family in her pair, in your prayers as she passed away during the night. She was a, one of our long standing team members. Good morning, Linda, Martina. Um, yeah, we, we really will miss Nancy. She was a great team member and a great friend in her family, her husband, John, and they, she has two children, um. Carissa is 29. She's a teacher in Oregon, and she's here now. She's taking leave of absence, and, and Gunner is 25, so they're young, and Nancy was only 66. So anyway, um, if you need her address or the family's address for a card, I'm happy to send that to you. Anyway, um, I'm hoping to see you next Tuesday, God willing. I am off to Wisconsin Friday. And I'm going to see my mom finally. And then I have a few days there. And then I'm going to be back. And then I head to Mexico for my stamping up incentive trip with my sister. So, oh my, it's a whirlwind. And we have a new catalog starting all at the same time. So it's going to be a busy, busy end of April and beginning of May. So thank you so much, everyone. And I hope to see you next Tuesday. Thank you very much. Bye.